Welcome, friends, followers, and fellow book lovers. I'm excited to bring you this new episode where I share with you I share with you a book I have recently read. It's Fossil Future by Alex Epstein. This book is an excellent read. Um, three reasons I read this book are one, I read Alex's book, uh, The Moral Case for Fossil Fuels. I agree with Alex's premise. That's the second point. That human flourishing should be the standard, not pristine earth. Number three, I wanted to know what more he had to say on the subject. Three leadership principles that Alex, I think, um, displays in this book is one, he speaks out based on the data. If I remember his story correctly, he got started um, researching fossil fuels and things uh, because he wanted to better understand the science. And he was on the side of the pristine earth that we were doing too much damage to it. And so he wanted to better understand what was going on. And in that process, he learned that we, we need the fossil fuels. We, re need, we need those energy resources for human flourishing. Two, is Alex focused on what's best for humanity? He really looked at history and how the things have um, – technology has developed over time in the world – and he really just wanted to be able to understand what was going on. Number three, he's willing to have conversations with people and provide answers, the receipts, if you will, to use a little more modern parlance, and to show people the data, to talk about it, to have a conversation and show what not only his research says, but also the research of others. So that we could better understand what we're really seeing in the data and what it means and what what the standard should be versus what the standard is being forced upon the standard that's being forced upon us in my view those are my words um i feel that alex presents his argument and his data in this um, in this book very well, and he really talks about the importance of the success that we had in bringing nations out of poverty because of cheap energy that we could bring still the bulk of Africa as well as many, many other nations across the world, up out of poverty by helping them have cheap energy. Oil, coal, hydroelectric, nuclear, whatever, whatever is the best for that location in that country. Um, one of the things that Alex really helped me understand is the importance of the human flourishing versus the pristine earth. Because I never understood why if if being carbon neutral was so important, why nuclear was so vilified. Yeah, we had Chernobyl, which was like the worst accident in the history of mankind with nuclear. But that was design flaw and some other stuff going on over there. Um, but come on, we've had nuclear reactors on on um US Navy I think it's pretty common knowledge uh, on US Navy ships for a long time for a very long time I'm just saying like the technology built into the newer the newer nuclear power plants that are in the modern warships why can't we use that? Why is that a negative? Obviously, warships, that's the negative. But, you know, why can't we use that technology in communities? Bury it in the ground. So that way, um, 
it had it has a cooler. Oh, see. That way, overall, it's better. Uh, I was reading some stuff on it and looking at some stuff on the new designs for the new nuclear power plants that they have out there. And uh, man, one one of those one of those small power plants can can provide enough electricity for two hundred and fifty thousand homes. That's amazing. Especially right now, as our energy needs continue to grow in America and across the world, I really enjoy listening to Alex speak. I've heard him on a couple do a couple of different interviews and really present um, his point of view and his ideas about fossil futures and what it can mean for the entire world. The abundance of food that we can grow and have for not just America, but for the world. A lot of the, the technology that we have is powered by coal and oil and electricity. Um, whether that's hydro produced or otherwise, um, it's really a big deal. I just want you guys to understand that if you're on either side of this issue, you should read his books, The Moral Case for Fossil Fuel and Fossil Future, and see if you can find the flaws in his argument if you're against the idea. If you're for the idea, see if you can find defenses to his arguments. I, I just think that the entire world can benefit from an increase of cheap energy. I really do. And I think we can make the world a much better place because of it. So my friends, thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and share. If you or someone you know are looking to level up your leadership and people skills, that's what I do at Turning Leaf Solutions. I'm a transition coach. I help people work towards a promotional transition to a new career, new career field. I like can speak English today. Uh, you can connect with me at turningleafs.com. That's L-E-A-F-S.com. There's a link on there to book a free consultation. Come on by. Let's have a chat. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you guys go out and make it a great day. You go out and make it a great year. This is I Will.